name is Jason Miller, founder of Aspen Ad Solutions, and we're about to unlock the power of ServiceNow. I'd like to start off by thanking all 1,863 subscribers in over 75 countries. If you believe in transferring knowledge to those who need it most, please click subscribe. Your user data will not be transmitted to anyone outside of Aspen Now without your consent. Okay, so welcome to the Reboot series. So one thing I realized was that I'd created a lot of videos way back, probably around latter part of 2017 and earlier part of 2018 um, that didn't have the greatest sound quality. So what I'm going to do is reboot those videos and basically redo them and also add a couple of additional bells and whistles to them so that way uh, it's more of an enriched experience. Uh, before I get to today's solution, I just wanted to mention that I have created another channel called Markets Now. Um, if you're interested in watching me navigate the global financial markets and show my account and trade um, stocks um, here in the United States um, and also some international equities too, um, Markets Now is kind of a cool thing. It's just a chronicle of my experience and in no way, shape, or form should it be regarded as investment advice. Okay, so today what we're going to do is go over um, the reset condition for SLAs, and I'm just going to show you a solution that I'd set up um, basically on the problem table, but using a custom date time field, which I had created called assignment time. And assignment time is just yeah, basically a, a date time field. There's nothing special about it. Um, the column name is U assignment time. And then what I did, I also created a business rule. Um, basically to say when the assigned to changes or the assignment group changes, what we're going to do is put in the assignment time as now. So that's all we're tracking with this field here. I also did a UI policy to make sure that it's read only and I'll show you that on the form. It's really simple UI policy. And then the, the SLA definition, if we go to la def, uh, you can click on service level management, SLA definitions. And then I created this one called assignment time. <clears throat> and we can take a look at the definition here. This is the reset condition. We'll get to it in one second. I just want to go over the, the basics of the, the start condition here, which is pretty simple. Okay, so we're running a 10-minute SLA. It's probably a little bit steep. In reality, you might have something a little bit, um, or that lends a little bit more time to this. Um, and then we're going off the caller's time zone. Here, all we're, it's really simple. Active is true. Um, and then down here, you're going to see here our retroactive start. So retroactive start, remember I have a video out there about it. Basically, it's just setting, it's a timestamp, right? It's just setting the start to that field called assignment time. Scroll through here. No pause condition. Here's our stop condition. Active is false. So it will stop when the ticket, the problem ticket becomes inactive. Now, a reset condition basically says this. We want you to, and here's our reset action, right? So this is, um, I don't think this is in Kingston. I think this came about later, um, but I'll have to fact check that. Basically, we're saying either complete the, the existing task SLA or cancel it. And I'll show you the difference between the two um, in just a second. So basically, what we're saying here is assign two changes and is not empty. And then we're doing what's called an or clause by saying, hey, here's another set of conditions, but both of these have to be true or both of these have to tr be true in order for this thing to, to fire. So make sure you understand the difference between the or clause and then or clicking or. Sorry, did I say three or ors in a row? I don't know. Anyway, um, we'll go ahead and watch this thing in action. I think this is the UI policy I set up. Um, you can also do, you know, like on the field itself, you can make it read only, but I don't know. I just kind of like doing UI policies. It's good for practice. So basically, it just says you assignment time. Um, we're doing read only is true. And now we can watch this solution in action. All right, so I've already filled out the ticket. I'm going to click save to make it active. You'll notice there's no one in the assignment group. So we should have our initial SLA running. So here's assignment time running. Okay, so we're tracking. How long it's going to take for this thing to get in the box? So then we'll go ahead and click save. Now we'll notice that assignment group has changed. So let's see what happened down here. So we'll see this one was mark completed. <clears throat> and now we have another one going um, that's in progress right now. So let's say we add someone. I don't think I have anyone in this group, do I? 
No, I don't have anyone. So now I want to change the group. Let's see if it works because we're saying when it changes and it's not empty. Okay. Let's see if another one fires here. So sure enough, we have another one that, that fired off. It's in progress. Now, let me empty it out. Let me just make sure that it's not tracking the empties, right? Let's go down here. And we'll see the same one still in progress. So we got to go ahead and fill that in. I think I have one called Aspen now test group. So I'll go ahead and change that. Uh, same thing we have here. Yep, sure enough, another one fired off right here. And now I'm going to put the assigned to in there as Emily Jason. And we'll click save. We're just going to bring us all the way back up to the top. Okay, there we go. There's another one in progress. And then finally, when this um, ticket goes to inactive state, meaning probably closed complete or closed resolved, whatever the status is that you use, um, then the SLA will stop. So, in fact, we can even we can test that out, too, if we want to. Closed resolve. Hmm. I wonder if I, maybe I added that myself. Let's do stop. And we'll notice that the assignment time is changing each time also. So yeah, we'll see here that everything's completed. So um, we've had several of these uh, assignments occur. And now we can, if we wanted to, we could pull this out into the task SLA um, table by doing an open new window. And then, you know, if we wanted to compile the data, a lot of people like to pull this stuff down to Excel um, and analyze it or whatever it is that they do. So that's our solution for today. My name is Jason Miller, founder of AspenNow Solutions, and we've just unlocked the power of ServiceNow.